Boeing is striving to reclaim market share for the 777X in China, a market once considered full of potential. Yet even here, the position of the 777X is being seriously challenged by the emergence of a mysterious new rival. After the success of the C919 and C929, it's clear that Comac aims to break the Airbus-Boeing duopoly to form a new Big Three in global aviation. To do that, the company has unveiled the C939, a massive jet designed not only to revive the dream of long-haul travel, but also to directly challenge the Airbus A350 and Boeing 777X. But why can this aircraft threaten the 777X? More importantly, how will China turn its ambition into reality? Let's find out. A quiet aviation revolution is taking shape across China, not in weapons factories, but inside advanced design centers where engineers wield CAD software instead of firepower algorithms, instead of artillery, and an unprecedented level of ambition fuels progress. Beijing isn't just building airplanes, it's constructing an entire aviation ecosystem determined to break the West's dominance over global air travel. And surprisingly, the pace of its progress is far faster than anyone expected. Consider this by 2040 airlines worldwide will need more than 39,000 new aircraft worth over $6 trillion. For decades, Boeing and Airbus have shared that enormous cake while smaller players like Embraer ATR and Bombardier filled the niches. But China no longer wants to sit on the sidelines. With one, four billion people and over 200 million middle-class households and forecasts showing that its domestic aviation market will surpass the United States by 2043 to become the largest in the world. Beijing now sees independence in aviation, not just as an economic goal, but as a matter of national security. In an era where trade wars and sanctions are wielded like weapons relying on Western-made aircraft has become a critical vulnerability one that China refuses to accept. Instead, the nation has launched one of the boldest industrial projects of the 21st century, the creation of a fully homegrown commercial jetliner capable of competing head-to-head -head with the world's best. The first step was the ARJ-21, a regional jet designed to enter the smaller end of the market, often overlooked by the aviation giants. While limited in production capacity, it proved that China could build its own airplane. The next leap came with the C919, a single-aisle aircraft directly challenging the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320, now in the final stages of certification. And then came the C929, a wide-body project initially developed with Russia's UAC. Despite delays and setbacks, China has now chosen to continue the program alone, showcasing its growing technological confidence. But the story doesn't end there, because what's coming next might just leave Western aerospace executives stunned or deeply scared. By the way, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. We know you're going to love what's coming next. In early 2024, rumors of a massive new jetliner began leaking out of China, sparking surprise and curiosity across the aviation world. By May, Comac China's state-owned aircraft manufacturer officially confirmed through internal documents that it had launched the design and development phase of a next-generation long-range wide-body jet. Later that year, in Harbin Wei Yingbiao, former Comac executive and now head of another state-owned enterprise, publicly acknowledged the program revealing that the company had already dived deep into the design process. Yet the final appearance of this mysterious aircraft remains unknown. Some sources suggest it could be a massive single-deck jet, while others whisper about an even bolder concept, a distinctive hump reminiscent of the legendary Boeing 747. What's clear, however, is that the C-939 is expected to become the largest aircraft ever built by China, a range of over 13,000 kilometers seating capacity for more than 400 passengers, and a fuselage over 76 meters long longer than the Boeing 777-300ER 
and nearly matching the Airbus A3 40 Pajors 600. Beyond passenger transport, it's also designed for enhanced cargo capability, targeting both long-haul travel and large-scale logistics. On paper, the numbers are astonishing, with a maximum takeoff weight of 280 to 320 tons, about 30% heavier than its predecessor, the C929, the C93 Nanin will rank among the largest twin-engine jets in the world. Sources claim its passenger cabin could stretch beyond 70 meters, allowing layouts ranging from traditional three-class configurations to innovative long-range cabin concepts. Notably, internal COMAC documents also indicate a target entry into service is uncertain, maybe at the end of the next decade, a distant milestone, but one that underscores China's seriousness. The project has moved beyond the conceptual stage into preliminary design with key specifications already taking shape. Even early news about the type of engine being considered for this huge aircraft has begun to surface evidence that Shanghai views this not as a dream, but as the most significant weapon. There are three possible engine options for the C939 Western engines from Rolls-Royce or General Electric, a jointly developed Russian engine, or a fully domestic one. If either of the latter succeeds, giving China a home-produced engine capable of matching the Rolls-Royce Trent or GE GI9X, it's almost certain that the country will aim even higher, pushing for a more powerful version to power the new aircraft. Beyond that, everything else remains speculation. But speculation often hides a grain of truth, especially when it aligns with where the wide-body market is heading. So what kind of engine could possibly power a giant like the C939? The answer may surprise you a Chinese-built turbofan, the CJ3000. It's a name unfamiliar to most, a secretive homegrown project designed to produce an incredible 45 tons of thrust, putting it on par with the world's most powerful engines. For context, the Airbus A350-1000 uses engines generating 44 tons each, while Boeing's mighty 777X relies on the GE9X producing 45 toward 4 tons. That means the CJ3000 could stand shoulder to shoulder with the GE9X, a truly staggering figure. Here's the catch. China doesn't yet have an engine in that class, so this will be a hard way. It's most powerful so far, the CJ-1000A for the C919 generates just 13.5 tons of thrust. A major leap came with the CJ-2000, which recently completed successful tests at 35 tons slated to power the C929. But for the C939, everything depends on the CJ-3000, a jump so dramatic it could mark a historic turning point for Chinese aviation if it succeeds. But here's the real shocker. This massive aircraft won't fly with four engines. As many predicted, it will fly with just two. Even Boeing and Airbus have never dared equip a super jumbo of this size with only two engines. So how could China attempt what the world's aerospace giants have not? The answer lies in how far engine technology has advanced. Decades ago, when jet engines were weaker and less reliable aircraft, like the Boeing 747 Airbus A340 and even the A380 required four engines to fly long routes safely. More engines meant more power, more safety, and longer range, that was the rule. But the rules also need to be changed. Today's engines are monsters of engineering, each capable of generating immense thrust. A single modern engine like the GE9X or Rolls-Royce Trent XWB97 produces over 44 tons of thrust enough to do what used to require two. That's why twin-engine configurations are no longer a compromise, they're an advantage. Fewer engines mean lower fuel burn reduced emissions and dramatically lower maintenance and production costs. Airlines can save up to 25% on fuel simply by switching from four engines to two. And reliability is also no longer a concern Modern engines are so dependable that even if one fails, the aircraft can still fly nearly 3,000 kilometers, enough to safely reach an alternate airport. 
What was once considered risky is now industry standard. The aviation world has already changed. The Boeing 787 Dreamliner, Airbus A350, and even the 777X all follow the twin engine path. That's why Comac's decision for the C939 isn't just a design choice, it's a statement of ambition, a step into the future. The road ahead remains steep, and the CJ3000 is still the greatest obstacle. Building a large-scale turbofan is among the hardest feats in engineering, and failure is always a possibility. However, its astonishing superiority has already attracted potential customers in this market, surpassing even the 777X. So who will be the first to bet on the C939 forecasts for potential buyers of Comac's new wide-body giant, the C939? Suggests that domestic airlines will almost certainly be the first in line. Among them, Air China is widely expected to serve as the launch or pioneer customer. The airline has a strong incentive to bet on this huge aircraft, as it remains the only major mainland Chinese carrier still operating passenger versions of the Boeing 747. Once these iconic jets reach retirement age, the C-939, with its high capacity and long range, will stand out as the most strategic and politically sound replacement to fill China's super wide-body segment. Beyond China, the international success of earlier Comac models could trigger a ripple effect abroad. For example, AirAsia has publicly expressed interest and is reportedly negotiating to purchase the narrowbody C919. Should AirAsia become the first international operator of the C911 C9 and operate it successfully, this could create a domino effect of trust and acceptance toward Chinese aircraft. Such acceptance could pave the way for other international carriers, especially in price-sensitive markets, to seriously consider the C939 as a cost-effective alternative to the Boeing 777X and Airbus A350 for long-haul high-density routes. Of course, the development timeline is what everyone's watching closely. And perhaps the biggest question of all, when will we finally see the giant C939 take to the skies? According to sources, Comac may accelerate the C939 program as soon as the C929 enters its final pre-production phase. If everything stays on schedule, this ultra-long-range wide-body jet might not appear until the mid-2030s. But that might actually work in its favor. By then, the long-haul aviation market will have fully recovered from the post-COVID-19 downturn, setting the perfect stage for the huge jetliner's grand debut. One thing is certain, Comac is gearing up for the biggest showdown in its history, facing none other than the Boeing 777X and the Airbus A350neo, a project still unannounced but long anticipated. To win the Chinese maker must not only catch up, but surpass them mastering the next generation of engines and composite materials technologies that China has struggled to perfect. These challenges demand time and persistence, but judging from what C919 and C9299 have already achieved, we may be witnessing a new chapter in China's aviation story, and perhaps just a decade from now, C939 will be the name that makes the entire world look up.